Okay. I've had it. I've had it. I just seen some woman on TV saying that the Republicans tried to make a police reform bill and the Democrats couldn't come to didn't want to come to the table. And they're talking about the Republicans in Senate. Let's put it straight. The Democrats in the House have passed bipartisan bills for police reform, for gun um, law reform, for all of that crap. And every time they bring it through and it goes to the Senate, the Senate wants to do a bill of their own that is a watered down form of the same bill that the that the House has already put across. They want a watered down form of these bills that do nothing, absolutely nothing to address the problem. So let's go there first. Plain and simple. Pay attention. Pay attention to how many bills, bipartisan bills, the House has passed. And how many bipartisan bills from the House that went to the Senate that little old Mr. Fuckface Mitch McConnell has buried. He's a piece of worthless, lazy ass shit. Vote him out of office. Because this is bullshit. And these lies are bullshit. The turtle has got to go. And we have got to start passing the stronger laws that the House has already passed. Not this watered down bullshit that does nothing. Absolutely nothing. If you do not have something in police reform laws that addresses the punishment for officers who continually break the law, and that's what they're doing when they have police charges uh, or charges against them of incessant force and and shooting people innocent people and all this other crap they're breaking the law and unless you can address that problem and make a harsh punishment for it they are free to continue it unless you make it so that these officers cannot escape what they have done. That everywhere they go, their record follows them. There's no more implied immunity. And, and unless you can take away their freaking pension after they've been convicted of something or fired off the force, nothing will ever change. They have no incentive. But the Republicans don't want to do that. Oh, let's go in and make a law that goes slap, 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 bad boy. And let's everything continue on the way it's going. And they're up on the podium out there hollering how the Democrats want no police department. The Democrats want a dangerous world. You got to fear them. Oh, come on, take a look at what the Republicans are doing. Really? Really? No, the Democrats want some harsh truths to come out. The Democrats want some something more than a slap on the hand. Are the Democrats perfect? Fuck no. But at least they've been trying to do what's right in this matter. And in it, the gun law matters. And if you idiots out there who keep on believing what these Republicans say, 
bothered to even look up one fourth of the shit you're believing, you'd realize you don't have any brains left. And you need to find the ones you used to have. Because it's ridiculous. I spend every day of my life since the day Trump was elected in office and before researching this shit. The only difference is is that now since Trump has been in office I got a hell of a lot more I got to research. And let's just face it. Trump has had more indictments for criminal actions in his administration than Obama did. I think Obama had like maybe one, if that. Possibly two. But I'm pretty sure it's just one. So please, excuse me. Hell, Trump has had more criminal indictments than most other freaking presidents out there. And I'm not talking about criminal indictments. Trump has put on to whatever, whoever, wherever. I'm talking about criminal indictments on Trump's own people. The Republicans. And it's his own administration putting the indictments on these people. So please, kiss my ass and go to hell if you can't start looking at the truth. You're worthless. And you don't give two shakes of a shit of a damn about this country. And as far as I'm concerned, you're the ones that need to leave. Go back to where your ancestors came from. Because you don't belong here.